<laughs> it is. Great. Alongside me we have North Wales Crusaders coach Anthony Murray. Anthony, uh, you've lost a pound, found a penny. Aye, uh, yeah, we, I mean, we played, we played some decent stuff at times, you know, the first 20 minutes in total control of the game and then gave a few silly penalties away, stopped completing our sets, sets and Glossop clawed the way back into the game and we started the second half exactly the same way we started the first, in total control for 20 minutes uh, and then we gave 20 penalties away in the stroke of 20 minutes uh, and then uh, obviously folded. I think, I thought the sim bin in, you know, was, you know, I don't know, I'll have to have a look at it, but looked a bit harsh to me uh, considering, like, you know, that Ren the Rucker had been slow all afternoon uh, and then, um, the powers that be decide to uh, penalise us and it's been somebody, um, you know, 70 minutes into a game. Uh, that's been like that around the rook area all game, so is what it is. Look at the positives though. Um, you started the game, Tommy Johnson didn't play, you got Brian Smith at full back, uh, and you, 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 you um, was that, was that, did, how, did, how do you think he went today? Uh, there's Ryan Smith. I'm going to go through the changes. Yeah, he did okay. He didn't do too bad. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's hard for me to sort of <clears throat> make comment without watching it back over and that like. But yeah, overall contribution thought was all right. And um, we definitely missed Tommy at the back. He gives yeah. us he gives us gives us a lot, doesn't he? Um, but like, you know, we've got players. You know, you can cover those positions. And um, you know, I, I just I don't think it was a, a change in fullback why we lost the game. No, no. Okay. Uh, so so, <laughs> you know. It, the thing that you improved on from last season is not didn't give away as many penalties, but again it cost you. Obviously you need to address that. But like you like you did say, we, you did show some good play going forwards, some great tries being scored. We saw what Crusaders can do. Yeah, definitely. We, we set a sort of thing in our pre-season. You know, we looked at you know how can we be better this year and and consistent. You know, was one that the players highlighted, and you know we, we were inconsistent last year, and we've, we've carried on this year. We're inconsistent. You know, we don't know sometimes which Crusader team's going to turn up, and uh, we'd, our inconsistencies cost us today. Uh, and it was an area we've sort of looked at um, in the pre in the off season, and um, you know it, it's not improved. And you know, I think the consistency needs to improve because not ju just in in our game. You know, we, we do things consistently for large parts of the game, then we drop off, and then when we drop off, teams punish us. What's the reason behind that? Is that just a lack of concentration or, or you know, 14 points, you know, you, you sort of let go, 14 point lead, you let go in the first half, I think it was 16 point lead, you let go in the second half, the alarm bells were ringing after the first half, uh, and as you say, they started the second half positively, but, you know, like they did with the first, it's, that was, that was the, it was the halfway through, is it lack of concentration? I don't know, they just, I don't know, to be honest with you, Conrad, you know, it uh, seems to be, uh, I can't put my finger on it, mate, to be honest. Just can't put my finger on it. You know, we, we sort of just like dropped off for whatever reason that was and you know things just sort of um sort of like folded really. Um for whatever reason, I'm not sure. And obviously Gloucester all goals, we knew they would never go away. They didn't. Um I'm, I'm good on them. Oh true, true, yeah, I'll not take anything away from Gloucester. Like, you know, they they came out uh, worthy with us and, and, and full credit to them. Um, you know, for coming here and, and doing a job, and you know, I said before the game, they're more than capable of, uh, you know, causing a few upsets this year and getting a lot out of the games, and they certainly did. He's recruited well. They're a big side, and they're full of enthusiasm, and uh, you know, they they they, uh, they got back of that momentum and uh, and came away, you know, with a victory. So, lastly, though, I'm going to turn this into a positive. You know, you'll have you'll have a lot more breaks now, you know, because the cup competitions will not act as distractions so therefore that should be, that should come all good come the end of the season you know we were destroyed by injuries uh, there should be more sort of time to compose yourself and more sort of there'll be less games to play that's no consolation that's less no. games to play at no. all uh, <laughs> do you know what I mean you want, you want to be in every competition as far as you can and if you're playing at home you want to win at home yeah. uh, and get as far as far as you can and you know have, have a good cup but what I'm saying what I'm trying to make the point I'm trying to make is that you, you can give the league a real go now without cup distractions yeah I suppose that's that's all I'm saying okay very difficult to you know to interview in circumstances like this but as always thank you very much no you're welcome come on pleasure